Mm -hmm. Hi, my name is Ron. I'm a student at University of Massachusetts taking a course in alternate energy. Uh, as a course project, we had to do a alternate energy project and I created a windmill. Um, there are different kits you can buy online at Amazon. I decided to go and um, create a windmill myself from scratch, um, building the tower to lift it up. Um, I built the fan blade from scratch, cutting out each individual piece of cardboard. I then hot glued dowel rods to each one of the blades. I drilled holes in the hub so that each one can be hot glued together. Then created an axle coming back to my tower. Because of the power limitations of the motor, I did not want to do a direct drive. I wanted to put a gear on which would drive the smaller gear, if you can see it in there, so that the motor would turn at a higher RPM and would produce more voltage, which is then connected directly to an LED, which is going to show whether or not we have enough electricity being produced to run the LED. Okay. Um, these blocks are simply to hold the axle in place. They're made out of plastic to be low friction. I have a stopper here and a stopper here so that the axle doesn't move in and out. Okay. I have the motor is actually on a piece of wood that I was able to slide up against the gear. I did not permanently install that. Um, it's just on clip so that I can adjust it. Okay. So to look at the operation of this, it's going to be operated by a fan. I've got two fans here in front of me. The first fan we're going to use is a standard house fan, something you would use to cool down in the summertime. I'm going to set it on high and we're going to see what happens. As you can see, the fan blade is turning, but the LED is not coming on. Uh, through previous experimentation, I found that this produces 0.5 volts, and the LED requires 0.7 volts in order to light up, which is why we're not getting any output from the LED as a visual effect. So the wind, in this case, is not strong enough to produce electricity to the level that we need it. It is producing electricity, but at a much lower level. Next, we'll turn to a more industrial type fan which has a higher output, uh, more air, and a uh, faster velocity. I'm gonna put it on the lowest speed first, and let's see what happens. As we see, the fan blade is spinning much faster than it was on the other fan, and the LED is glowing bright. When I did my experimentation on this, I was getting 2.5 volts out of the motor. Okay, my original plan was to have this also drive a battery, rechargeable battery, so that I could show that the excess electricity could charge the battery and then run the LED. Unfortunately, I struggled with getting a, the proper motor and getting the proper fan to run this, so I was unable to show that portion of it, but I think I've demonstrated that um, using simply wind power, which is natural, um, that we can run a windmill and we can cr create electricity. Thank you very much for watching my video.